What's going on guys, Metaver here with Lethal Camaro and today I want to do a quick overview on the new or semi-new Blackview camera setup. Now this setup is the interior system setup for the front view and it's the IR setup so you get the interior reverse view. So like for instances for me, I didn't necessarily want a backwards view camera um, for my back window because if someone rear ends me, it's basically their fault regardless. Um, I don't, I can't really think of many situations where that would be my fault, but I wanted an interior view because I do end up valeting my car because at work, um, I have people that jump in my car and park the car when I do drive in. And with that being said, I believe I've had instances where things have gone missing. So I wanted to be able to protect myself. I do end up going to hotels quite a bit as well. So in that instance, I want to make sure I also have a view of what valet is doing in my car, how they're driving it, how they're taking care of it and what they may or may not run through while they're in my vehicle. Now, why Blackview? Lots of different reasons. Um, for first and foremost, it it's probably, I wouldn't say the more expensive version cameras. I know there's a couple other products out there that are a lot more expensive, but this is kind of the middle of the road that does deliver full HD content, allows you to have a lot of the access with their tools, such as live view, remote view, you can save content to the cloud, etc. So when I cruise around in my car, I do have my Verizon hockey puck. It is plugged in, so it's always charging. So I have internet in my car all the time because basically that system with unlimited data was cheaper than the um, the OnStar option and some of the other things. So I have that hook. I'm gonna have that hooked up to the camera so I can sync live to the cloud all the time uh, and be good to go. So let's get on into what's in the box and what I ordered for this system. I did go ahead and get the power adapter that taps into my fuse box so I have power to the system all the time or you can custom set it for different intervals of time um, so that way if you are leaving your car for a couple days or just an afternoon um, it does time itself out so it doesn't kill your battery over time so either or let's jump into the product and get into the finite details of what's in the box and what this thing is all about okay guys so in the box uh now i'll be transparent i did open this up to see what was inside and how it all functioned uh making sure all the parts were there and there's a couple things I want to talk about um, in regards to what I found and the mistake I made in ordering this setup, but I do want to get into what's in there. So let's get in first to the PowerMagic Pro. So this is the device you need if you want your vehicle to power this unit when the car's not running. So again, as it highlights on the box, you know, hardware and kit for parking model or mar parking mode uh, so you can record while the engine's off. So it's a battery discharge prevention, configurable cutoff voltage, configurable cutoff timer, 12 volt, 24 volt compatible, and parking mode switch. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So inside, you obviously get the instruction manual. You're gonna get the power adapter that taps into your fuse box and the PowerMagic Pro module. Now, this module does have different settings and depending how you have these toggles set, this one through five, uh, determines how it actually functions. So you can see here, you can see the 12 hour, 24 hour, 72 hour, etc. So, and then you can also adjust the voltage depending on your setup here. Now, this is a quick setup module. Again, it does come with double side sticky tape in the package. Um, it does come with self tapping screws. So wherever you do want to put it, you can screw it in if you want. Um, but this module here is what wires to the main unit in the box. You do have a couple wires um, for the power, uh, which I'll get into that, how those tap into the fuse system. And then you obviously have the actual wire adapter that plugs into the unit itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. Uh, now, this is not a difficult install with what they give you. Again, how it powers the old ghetto style ways, people would wire these into the fuse box and basically just slip them underneath the fuse to get power. Um, but what they provide you is a self-tapping, basically a fuse, ex fuse box extender or a, basically a new circuit. So this unit plugs into your fuse box. There's two different fuses. Basically you put the new three amp fuse to power um, the new box and then you put the fuse that you're replacing where this plugs in right next to it. So you're basically just extending the fuse out and the wires crimp into the ends. Now, I was an idiot and I ordered the mini fuses and I'm sure some of you guys in the video have already noticed that. Um, so I called them up and I said, hey look, I made a mistake, um, I, I should highlight. They sent me this kit to review. So 
I told them I had a mini fuse set up and to make up for my issue, I called them up and said, hey, I made a mistake, I ordered the wrong ones because um, I was gonna do this video earlier and uh, basically I told them I was gonna buy new ones. They, they basically said, that's cool, Matt, sorry, you're a moron. No, they didn't say that, but I did that. So I got the wrong ones, but this is the mini setup. You don't need this for the Camaro. What you need is the micro setup with low profile. So I ended up buying a couple of these on Amazon. Again, you can get these with the unit from Blackmagic, uh, but because of my error, I ended up going out and buying a couple on my own. Uh, I think it was 11 bucks. They were pretty inexpensive, but you can already see I put the three amp fuses. And then when I find where I'm going to put the, or which fuse in my fuse box I'm going to replace, those fuses go in there and then this plugs in in its place. So you'll need two of them. Pretty easy, pretty cut and dry. That's what powers that. So we'll go ahead and set that all to the side. Now in the main box, and I think I messed up the order of this because I'm pretty sure the cameras were first initially, uh, but I put the, uh, the box with all the cables on top, so I apologize. But inside, let's go ahead and pull these out. So inside you get the full HD cam. It does have nice plastic wrapper, keeping it nice and safe. Um, yeah, so this is gonna mount on the our interior of my window and uh, be facing forward. So basically it will, if this is my windshield, it will mount like this. Uh, we'll get into the details when I install it on exactly how I'm gonna install it. Uh, but packaging wise, they do a really good job protecting it. Um, basically plastic cover, hard plastic cover shell here. Um, you know, plastic cover over the, the reader. And then you can also see where the Wi-Fi uh, buttons are. You can also see the plug-in for the power and the plug-in for the rear are, in my instance, the front-facing interior camera. Um, and then also behind this little slip is the SD card. Now this doesn't, it doesn't take much to pull this out, but you can see where their SD storage card, I believe this is the 32 gig card. Uh, yes, it is. So this is the 32 gig um, micro SD card option. So there's the main cam. Interior camera. So you have the black red interior that now this does support um, nighttime and daytime view. You could see all the different lighting for that. Again, nicely wrapped, nicely done. And again, the input. So this will most likely sit to where it's right in front of my rear view mirror. And then I'll be running the cable into uh, here to power it from the main one. So what's in the box? So you get all sorts of sticky <laughs> pads and devices. This is so you can route the wires in all sorts of different ways. Oops, and it's open, so I just spilled them all over the floor. Um, but you'll see all sorts of different ones. There's also a little USB stick that they included in there. That's kind of cool. Back up your data. So this cable is your cable to connect the both uh, the forward facing and the rear cam. So we'll see how that works on the install. And then as you saw from the power setup, uh, this can be powered by a cigarette lighter or you can plug it right into that adapter that we have. Uh, and then there's the power cable that plugs into the main cam. Now this will be ran um, all through my car uh, to where the fuse box is gonna be, um, but it's a nice long cable so I don't foresee any issues here. So what is this cam? What is so special about it? The biggest thing is they have quite a few different things. Now this unit is the DR650S. It is the two channel. I did opt for the IR. It is a full HD cam, 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. You really don't need anything more for driving for the front. And then you do have an HD 720 piece. That's 1280 by 720, 30 FPS rear setup. It does have the high quality Sony sensor, has built in GPS with a G sensor and Wi-Fi. Uh, it loop, it does allow loop recording and it has intelligent parking mode, like basically event parking notice. So it will alert you if something's going on when your vehicle's parking. You can get this system with up to 128 gigs of storage. Again, this one's 32 gigs. It does have enhanced rear camera control, has low power consumption. Again, these things are only three amp, like three amps are super low power. It does have a black view app and it does have the black view viewer. So you can watch it on your PC or your mobile device and it's compatible with the black view over the cloud which is a free add-on service now what is black view over the cloud 
basically allows live view, watch what's going around, you know, going on around your vehicle, just like a CCTV camera, anywhere at any time. Remote video playback, play video stored in the dash cam or the cloud um, from your mobile device, it has an emergency alarm, receive no notifications on your smartphone when an event occurs. GPS tracking lets individual and businesses track their vehicle's route, speed, and parking location. I don't necessarily need the GPS side of things, but that could be interesting. Could be a cool thing at the track. Not sure. We'll have to see how that plays out. Video backup. Again, this is not really um, super crazy for a lot of people, but video backup, it's just, you know, you can move your important footage to the free cloud storage um, from your smartphone memory. So if you notice an area or maybe someone broke into your car, you can literally tap right into it, back up that data to the cloud and have it anywhere. You don't actually have to go to the device to pull the memory card out. And it has two-way voice communication. So if like your wife or someone's driving the car, it's almost like OnStar, but you know, you're the customer service rep. So pretty cool. So. There's the free account side that they're gonna give you out of the box. Um, they do offer basically upgraded plans. So you can get more of all of this, but you get 10 minutes of live view per day. You can register one black view dash cam per account. You get five gigs of cloud storage and 100 downloads or replays per month. So that's pretty decent. I don't see myself looking at this footage consistently or all the time. You know, it, it's there, it's free. Um, it'll be interesting. I'll check out, you know, in my final review, what and how the app can be upgraded from there, what, what the difference between the free and paid accounts are, etc., etc. So we'll get into that. There you go, guys. There's the quick overview of the DR650S dash or two channel dash IR. Uh, again, that is the forward facing full 1080p camera, the internal facing 720p camera that, that both supports, um, daylight and infrared etc uh, i super excited to do an install guide and really check out this product to see how it performs i've been looking for a better system than what i've been using because uh, what i've been using has just been really difficult i'm super excited to check out their app um, for those of you out there who have been following my instagram you may have seen me following a couple other products that i had in hand but i didn't actually do a review on it because i couldn't get them to work so this product I know works. I know people who have this product. Uh, so I'm super excited to try it out myself, see how hard the install is, see how easy or difficult it is to manage the app and check out the footage, et cetera, et cetera. So I hopefully you guys are just as excited to check out this product. For those of you looking for security and driving your vehicle and just having footage, um, you know, like I know someone who actually had a dash cam who got pulled over for running a red light he actually showed the footage to the officer and got out of the ticket right then and there because it was yellow basically three quarters of the way of his car going through the intersection so didn't even have to get a ticket and fight it in court that's pretty awesome uh, but the other side is safety in you know collisions and having be able to record that or document at least from the front side uh, they do offer other options so if you do want the front and the rear camera so you see behind you you can have that so the rear camera will replace you know what i got the interior cam so i can see people driving my car such as my valet guys um but yeah i i lost what i was going to say there <laughs> so again super excited to check out this product this product was provided by blackview i did reach out to them i um asked them if i could check out their product i pitched a plan of basically doing this video an install video and my review video um and i don't want to say all this so Blackview did provide this product to the channel for me to review. Super excited to do that. And um, I hope you guys are interested to hear about it. So the price point isn't too crazy. Uh, I would say it's very affordable for anybody who's interested in really good uh, surveillance and video capture for their car. It's cheaper than purchasing um, a new GoPro and all of that. And it's easier to manage for the most part. At least that's the promise. So let's see if they deliver on that promise and let's get right on in to um, the install, which will be the next video coming out on this series. So yeah, just really lucky to have the camera. Again, this is the overview video. I will have an install video and a full review video on how the product works. If you guys are interested in seeing those or just following the channel for more Camaro and American muscle car content, make sure to hit that subscribe button to Lethal Garage. 
As always, I do appreciate you guys checking out the video. Likes, comments, shares are appreciated. Check out the swag down below in the description. Also, if you guys are interested in more details around this product, also check out the link in the description. It goes right to Blackview's website that has all sorts of details on this product. Um, but if you guys have further questions, comments below are a great section to do to post your questions. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I will look them up or I'll reach out to Blackview and try to get that answer for you. But as always, guys, if I don't see you in the next video, I do hope to see you on the road.